so, hey, salon owners, I want to share with you how to make a great living from your salon. I have the privilege as a salon business coach to see behind the scenes of so many salon owners figures and I can see patterns appearing. I can see the danger zone and I can see the salon owners that are making lots of money. And I want to share with you that today on this training. Let's dive in. Let me share my screen and let's figure out how we can make your salon make you a really good living. So what I see, and this is simple maths, is that most salon owners tend to have a wage bill that sits around the 50% mark. And bills sit around 22%, rent is around the eight, and they spend 15% of their turnover on stock. Now, that equals 95%. Now, also, let's try and take it away from the percent and put it into some real life scenarios. So if you imagine that a takings are for every 100 pound or $100, depends which country you're in. So 50 pounds and 22 pounds and eight pounds and 15 pounds out of that 100 pounds is not yours. 50 belongs to wages and 22 belongs to the bills. 8% is to cover your rent and 15% is to cover your stock. Now we're not talking taxes. This is excluding your VAT and GST. That means that total your bills are 95 pound. And you know what's left out of that? Five pound is belonging to you. Now, what I want to show with you here is how hard it is to make money if this is your scenario. So if we are looking at this and you feel that this is similar to yours, your wage bill is sitting up at about 50% and your stock is sitting about 15%, I know that you're not making much profit. It's impossible. So for example, for every 100 that goes through your till, you're making only five. Let's put that to some sort of perspective. For every 100,000 turnover your salon owner does, you get to keep five. So if you really have a good salon, and let's say you get your salon to £300,000, which is not a bad salon, to be honest, you'll earn 15000 Now, if you want to pay yourself a really good wage, let's double that. You've got to get your salon to 600000 before you can pay yourself thirty. And I think here in the UK, thirty is an okay wage for a salon owner, right? It's not going to, you know make you a millionaire, but you've got to get to a 600,000 turnover. And the problem with that is only about 5% of salon owners will get above half a million. So this model that everyone uses, if your wage bill is sitting around that 50% and your stock is sitting around 15%, no matter how hard you work, you're going to struggle to make money. Let me show you what it should look like. You see, your wages should be sitting around that 35%. And your stock should be sitting around that 10%. We have a lot of salon owners that we coach. We get them to this stage. We've done it today. Anyone who sees this video, it's a, a day that we sent back our um, accountability figures to our clients. So they know that this is what we track and they know this is what we're aiming for. The bills and the rent stay the same regardless. So can you imagine for every hundred pound that gets in the till using this system, it means that, you know, all your bills only come to 35 pound for wages, 22 for bills as normal, rent eight as normal, stock 10 pounds, all bills come to 75 and you are left with 25. Now, see the difference in this. So for every 100 that goes in the till now, you make 25, not five. Doesn't sound like a bit of a big difference between five and 25, but let's start getting a bit serious. For every 100,000 that your business does, you get to keep 25,000. Now, that's almost the same. If you look at this scenario up here, 
take a look at this for you know for a 300,000 business you are only keeping 15,000 now for your 100,000 business you're better off with 25 now that's all to do with your wages and your stock now picture this if your turnover is 300,000 you're now sitting there with 75,000 as a wage, as opposed to 15. Can you see how it didn't seem like an awful lot when we looked at 35 to 50 or 10 to five, but it's tens of thousands when you're talking about a percentage of your salon turnover. Now, the question is, how do we make that happen? Well, if your wage percentage is high, like at 50, there's a really good chance that you're overstaffed or you have not enough clients for your salon. And there's a really good workout that I want to share with you right now. And it's the first thing we do when we coach salons who come on board with us. And by the way, if this has left you in shock, if you're thinking now, I now, aha moment, Richard, I can see why I'm not making any money. Maybe you'd want to reach out to us and comment or email us or whenever you feel like you can get to, a, a touch in with us because I don't know where you're going to see this. But this is what I do with every single uh, salon owner we take on. We take their staff member uh, and we figure out what their takings are and we figure out what their average bill is and we figure out what their total takings are and we... Oh, done taken already sorry uh, then we figure out how many clients they do and then we figure out what's their total then we figure out what's their wage and then we work out their wage percentage and this scenario would make me see instantly where the holes are in your business let me give you one example. Let's say this particular person is taking in the salon about, I don't know, 1,500, which will come down the bottom in a second. Um, the average bill, we're going to put that as 50. Making it hard for myself. And the amount of clients they see would be 100 clients a week, I think. Let's have a look. Let me get my maths out. There's me being, it's simple maths, Richard. Let's find it out. 1,500. Um, divided by 50. There you go. So they're doing, of course, 30 people. So we know their total, and the reason we do that down here again is because I want to use their total, is 1,500. Let's say we're paying them 500 a week. We divide it together, and we get a wage percentage of 33 cents a third. And with this, is a perfect scenario because to make the takings and the wage up, you've got to ask yourself, Two questions. First question is, is this acceptable? Do you think that 30 clients a week is doable? That's for you to answer. Do you think that 50 average bill is acceptable in your salon? And if you said yes to both of them, you would agree that 1500 is also acceptable. And that means that you will have a wage percentage of 33%, and that means you get to make some money. So you've got to realize that most of your money, no matter how hard you work, comes down to the fact that maybe your wage bill and your stock bill is too high. And that means you're overstaffed or you are under clients. And your job is to work out the simple maths to figure out which one it is. Do we need to get the average bill up? So takings rise, do we need to get clients up to takings rise or do we need to lose a staff member because we are overstaffed? Most of you and one way I would choose would I would work on marketing and I would work on the client journey to get the average bill up. So I want you to just remember when you are a salon owner, it's your job to make sure your salon is profitable and pay you a decent wage. And fill the pot of money so you get to share it with your team as well. 
But it doesn't matter how big takings are. It, what matters is what's left. So keep a real firm eye on your stock and a real firm eye on your wage. And they're the two biggest bills that you're going to get. And if you can't get them down, maybe you need to reach out and find some help, how you can get more clients or get the average bill lifted up so it balances itself out. Because otherwise, no matter how hard you try, you are never going to make any money. I'm hoping today was an aha moment for some of you to realize no matter how busy you are, how much money the salon's taking, sometimes you're still left with no profit. The maths don't add up. You may need some help. Give us a shout if you do.